Hello, this is Haku to be in an ice cream of recording. So I have to redo all of it. Today we're going on r slash Tumblr. If you enjoyed today's video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. And all. Now let's get right into this. One time, this man approached me in a bar talking in Spanish, so I assumed he was Spanish and we started speaking. We had a whole ass conversation. At some point, he was like, So, what part of Spain are you from? And I was like, Well, I'm Italian actually. What part of Spain are you from? And he was like, I'm Greek. One time, I was in Argentina, and I was so tired of trying to speak Spanish because I'm not very good at it. And so, I broke into uh, exasperated English and the a retail seller girl quickly understood me and engaged me in the conversation. We talked for a while, she introduced me to a makeup brand, and then I decided to buy it. With respect packaging in the park urges, she asked me if I am from the US or the perhaps the UK, and I just said, oh no, I'm Brazilian. <laughs> and she looks me straight in the eyes and said in clear Portuguese, I'm Brazilian too. I might skip a few of these because I already read them and they're not as funny the second time. Me watching Merlin. Why are there so many historical inaccuracies in this TV show about a wizard that can talk to dragons? Why are there tomatoes? There shouldn't be tomatoes! My suspension of disbelief covers the magic related stuff, but not the Columbian Exchange! While well, I was doing my masters back in 2010, my archaeology. Eco would, uh, would uh, uh, gather my flat on Saturday evenings to mock the latest episode of Merlin. I had the arch architecture covered. We had a textile specialist. There was an Anglo Saxon burial student who could advance into early medieval Western material culture commentary. There was an archaeo allergist for the, the armament of weapons. It was a delightful a weekly rest. Yeah, I was gonna grab something. There you go, drink some of the Kool-Aid. Anyway. Don't flirt subtly, subtly or drop hints. I'm dumb. Be blunt. If you want to be a lover, you gotta make it explicitly clear. Diagrams are accepted and appreciated. With no fault divorce was legalized in the 70s, the states that legalized it saw a decrease of 8 to 16 percent in married women committing suicide and a 30 percent de decline in domestic violence. This is why I worshiping the so-called uh, traditional family is a load of freaking BS. I think a lot of people really don't realize that the current uh, divorce rate has nothing to do with the great morals and so you just that it's both legal and more socially acceptable now than it used to be. The issues leading to divorce have always been there. Hang on. Actually, this one's a good one. My dad trying to explain the concept of money to me. So you have a, f I have a sandwich. I need your sandwich. If I don't have anything to give you, you're... You're not just gonna give it to me. I'll just give it to you. Oh no. In elementary school, we had basically an immersive of economics lesson that was playing city with different jobs and businesses. It was mostly semi free time for socializing and buying and selling toys and, and snacks from each other. One of the lessons we were supposed to learn was the importance of paying a small amount of money into health or indoor business insurance because you had. A chance of being hit with the daily disaster and a huge bill. 
Anyway, some kid who didn't buy insurance got hit with a medical bill early on, so he was supposed to be bankrupt and have to sit the rest of the game out. The eight-year-olds were not having it and spontaneously invented crowdfunding so he could keep playing with everyone else. The kids who don't get it are right, actually. Endless, more really fascinated by how when you're a kid, you're constantly having parents, school, religion, media, all drumming into your head that sharing is good and you need to do it. And you grow up and suddenly they're all like, right, never mind all that, this is a real world, and it's every bastard for themselves. Generally believe that the best and funniest thing you can do in any story is send the characters to literal hell. Extreme Hardcore Beach episode. Years ago, I watched this naughty video and the girl was screaming, Oh God! Oh God! And the dude was like, There are no gods here. And to this day it haunts me. What the fuck was he talking about? High evolutionary vibes. I think some of the worst culprits of the Gen Z is going to save the world thing are not Gen Z themselves, but older people, older people eager to dump this burden on them. I remember in 2020 or so, I saw people posting about, we're passing on the baton to you, don't freak this up like we did, signed the millennials. And I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? You are 30 years old, acting like it's too late for you to get your shit sorted. And that other world's problems should be solved by overwhelmed teens and early 20 somethings with no real life experience. What's up with that? Yeah, it's kind of messed up, isn't it? Don't go where I can't go is literally the most romantic thing anyone has ever said. It's like, I'll let you bring me anywhere, far from home, far from the places and people I love, so long as you stay with me. I'll let you walk into danger and through hell, but I will not have to let you go where I can't go with you. That is where I draw the line. Then one of those gay little gnomes for Lord of the Rings say this. Gay little gnomes. Brutalism is when there's concrete. The more concrete, the more brutalism -er it is. I'm working on audio transcript using voice recognition, and this gentleman has a very nice accent, but when, the, when he says God, the word is also noted down as God. We don't know what God tested and what God registered as true or untrue. We don't know what God answered the code since the last time we tested. We don't know what God ticketed as an issue and what uh, just God ignored. We, now we know what God changed, but we don't have a record of what God approved. We don't know what God took this issue or what, what just God ignored. Voice recognition theology. Ever since discovering you can request money through Google Wallet when you send emails, I've had to struggle to resist the urge to constantly attack on, on money requests for either thousands of dollars or six cents when I, when I email my dad about stuff. Mostly because I send him a lot of funny animal pics with no title or body in the email whatsoever. And I love the idea of sending someone a blank email with two attachments, which are that picture of the probus of the proboscis is monkey smirking while eating a sandwich with his little pink dick fully visible, and a Google Wallet request for nine thousand dollars. In Washington State, killing Bigfoot is a felony, but in Texas, Bigfoot is considered an invasive species and can be hunted at will. This sounds like one of those cutesy, funny. The encrypted post, but that is actually a legal status of the legal status of Bigfoot in those two states. You can look it up.
Overheard some teens today talking about a girl they know who's a canned fish influencer and makes and sells her own canned fish. And all, everyone they know is big into canned fish now and throwing fish canning parties every weekend. I can't tell if I'm way more out of touch with the youth than I thought, or if they were doing a bit, or if scouting youths are extra incomprehensible. Maybe all three. Available with Flatnim subscription will be removed on the 31st. Available free with ads. Rent and $4.99. Buy I for 20 bucks. Not available in your country. Not available on this device. With every street, you service for good kill stuff and fill almost right around their fields. Also free in an organic in their natural state. Huh? New HBOs. The show's got me looking like a Jack's arrow. Oh no, new HBO shows got me not watching anything on HBO. Hang on. Showing more character AI stuff because there's no way I'm allowing Eggman to be part of the LGBT community. It's the best sense ever conceived. Sonic, Eggman, and come with this most diabolical plan yet. Again? You can't just break, take a break, can you, Eggman? It's always he wants to destroy or control everything. What's this new diabolical plan of yours, then? He's made a Tinder account. A Tinder account? That's even worse. So this is stop the mad doctor. He clearly doesn't understand the dangers of that kind of app. Oh, no. Do you know what he says preferences to? <laughs> Male and female? Both? No. There's no way I'm allowing Eggman to be part of the LGBT the community. That's why it's stopped to this at once. I work back as fast as possible. This reminds me of that post of someone saying that they would support the LGBT community, but that would mean they ha they also had to support Song the Hedgehog. But they hate that guy with the picture of Eggman was speech bubble to the text. Oh my goodness, their freaking name is Sonic the Hedgehog Hater. You know, I would support gay rights, but that that would mean I would I have to support Sonic the Hedgehog and I hate that guy. Literally you are refusing to support the rights of uh, people to not be murdered because of a fictional hedgehog. Please take a moment to reconsider your life. Computer Moss. How to clean computer, um, computer moss. My gaming setup has moss. Why does my PC have moss? Moss resistant motherboards. How to grow computer moss. When to water computer moss. How to cook computer moss. What makes computer moss taste good? Computer moss nutritional value. Computer moss wine pairings. Computer moss safe to eat. Attach moss to email. Share moss with friends. How to transfer computer moss. How to spread computer moss. Spread moss, spread moss, spread moss. I don't get it. <sighs> Adults trying to stay hip and keep up with youth culture and being years late is so cringy. I'm gonna be real. 
I am at least weeks late when I learn a new um, part of a hip slime that I didn't know of before. Without secret, it's all intentional. Nothing will prepare you for how fun it is to watch teenagers uh, watch a teenager's face as you dive at them. I will floss when they least expect it, and I will love every second of their horror. Fond memories of how one of my shipmates would ear would earnestly ask younger second, Was that yeet? Was that yeet? Every time he tossed the dock lines. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> Did you let me die in your arms in a time loop? I keep thinking about this. It's post. Did you let me? As in, did you not save me? And did you let me? As in, did you allow me to cover up your embrace at the expense of your own pain, knowing tomorrow I would be back and fine, but you'd still feel you feeling my blood against your skin? Did you let me die in your arms? Seattle Public Library is doing this awesome program called Books on Ban that allows teens and young adults, 13 to 26, Access to a collection of ebooks and audiobooks from anywhere in the USA. All you need to do is fill out to inform and get their book, books on banned cards. Please share this information far and wide. I know they're not the only ones who have done this, but the more, the merrier. So how does it feel to fall from gay grace and become yet another widely despised bitch-ass white boy? God to say enough to cast him out of heaven. <laughs> At this point, I wish advertising in general was just literally illegal. Word of mouth only. Maybe exceptions beneath a certain net value. Like if you're a startup or family run business. But if you're already making a million dollars, then making every, even a one single commercial or banner campaign should be a crime. And I mean, a crime like this year, EO gets investigated on national television, goes to Christian prison forever, and everyone agrees they're a sick, fucked up maniac. Alright, I think that's the last post for today. If you liked today's video, please do a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I don't know what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, but I think it's going to be after a little bit more sleep, so maybe I'll have more energy. As you might have noticed, I'm a little bit low-key today. But until oh, tomorrow's video, goodbye!